I don't feel like dishing out two, three hundred bucks for a dumbbell rack. So I'm just gonna build one out of two by fours. I'll show you guys what my space looks like. My dumbbells are all laying on the floor and they're, they're in the way for when I go and use my arm masters. So I wanna try to build a rack on that back wall there with space underneath for the kettlebells and maybe two rows for dumbbells on top. It'll be right under my uh, pegboard. If you go to the other side, I kind of want to leave this side open because I got my chalkboard back here. I might just leave the curl bar down there and I got my, uh, my barbell rack there as well. So I'm going to grab some tools. I don't really have a plan on what I'm going to do, but you know what? It's just two by fours. I'm um, going to make V. V's with the two by fours to hold the, the dumbbells. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. I'm just gonna keep it very basic and simple, and I'll show you as I go. Okay. First things first. I'm just gonna measure how how, how wide I want to make it. Mm, I got about 53 inches there. You know what? Uh, I don't want to go too close. If I make it four feet, four feet's a good length. So I'm gonna make it four feet, so I'm just gonna cut my boards uh, to four feet to start with. And then I'm probably gonna follow the outline of my wall just because the way it is, it'll rest on the cement here. And I'll have the row underneath for the kettlebells. I'll make it this high for the first set of dumbbells. And we'll see from there. pieces. All right, so instead of doing the V, uh, I think I'm just going to screw the wood like this, kind of like in an L shape, um, so that what it'll do, it's still going to be a V, it's just going to be easier, I think, and then as long as there's a gap here for your hand, you know what I mean, you put your weight up here, you just rest it up here and then there's a gap here because if I were just to put a 2x4 let's say to rest them on well then you're kind of trying to get your hand underneath the weight so by doing a little notch like this nice and simple it'll always leave a gap for you to put your hand and grab the weight and it doesn't matter if it's 35 pound or a little 5 pound that's all I'm going to do now. I'm going to just do one more like this because I want two shelves. And then I'll figure out what I'm doing for the sides. Alright, so I decided on the height. Uh, now, I'm just putting it up here. And I just got to decide on my angle that I'm going to use that I want this at. All right, so I'm all done the, uh, the dumbbell stand now. So I'm just going to put it in. I'll show you what I did. Pretty straightforward. Just two shelves. And I added uh, just a brace to go against the wall. And I'll screw that in. There. So as you can see, I just put a little brace here that I'm going to screw into the wall. So I got two rows for dumbbells and my kettlebells underneath. Yeah, I'll just go. It doesn't need to be solid. Just needs uh, against the walls, just so it doesn't tip. I didn't make any plans for this. I just kind of did it, you know, off the cuff, and I made it fit my space. But the basic design here that uh, you guys can take away is just taking two two by fours by making the L shape, and then you put it on the on an angle, it makes a really good uh, uh, good rack. I'm just gonna secure it and then I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm all done. Uh, as you can see it behind me, I did have to do a little adjustment. The angle was a little too steep at first and the weights would tend to slide off. This is what I mean 
I had it more, it was like this. So the weights, like a 10 pound, would have sat like this and it would stay, but it would be very easy for it to slip and then fall. But the way it is now, it's almost uh, straight. It's just a little angle and it makes it perfect. And what the V does, if you're wondering what the V is for, is that so you have a space to put your hand underneath to grab the weight. Yeah, well, that's it. I've got a spot for my kettlebells down there. Two rows for dumbbells and well, I just threw my ab wheel up there. So it's just storage really. And what's nice for that I joined the two pieces of wood together is that for the little weights, they just kind of sit in the tray. So, perfect. There, if you liked the video, please smash that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next week.